Cool. Let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna go this way, to the anatomy part, and you guys are gonna help me out with that, okay? You know. It's important, right? Okay. Alright, so this that's supposed to be your mouth, chin, Adam's apple, windpipe. Okay. So what uh Jose, the back of the nose is called what? Nasal pharynx. Good. So here's the nose. And the back is called this space behind the nose where the air goes through the nasal pharynx. Good job. So I'll put it up your nasal. Pharynx. Okay. David, right? Yeah. David, you come and go sometimes. I don't normally see I'm you. I'm just not here on Wednesday, so that's good. Okay. Alright, uh, what is in the nasal pharynx that helps humidify the air? The Turbinates. Turbinates. Good. Alright, so these are just tunnels, right? They're tunnels right inside the nasal pharynx and they are called turbinates. Turbinates. All right? And you have that crazy name, Anya Yelly. How do you say it? Anya Lina. Anya um, What is special about the turbinates? What do they do? They can for the air. Why, why do we not want the dry air to go into the lungs? What, what could happen if dry air is always just going in the lungs? Yeah, they're gonna crack and bleed, right? And the patient's gonna die. So we need the air to be humid before it gets to the lungs so it doesn't dry up. So the turbinates help humidify air. And you guys know why we want it to be human. So you guys can do your own little side notice to like why we want that air to be human before it goes to the lungs. All right, um, Kristen, what is the space behind the mouth called? What is this space right here called? The space behind the mouth. Oral pharynx, good. Oh. That's close enough, oral pharynx. It's okay, oral pharynx. So oral pharynx. Oral pharynx, good. And then right there, we just have the tongue, right? No big deal. We know we know about that. Oh, here's one. Here's here's a, a little side note. You guys should know. Um, if the tongue is the obstruction, so the tongue is the problem when it comes to breathing. What it what sound is it gonna make? How do you know the tongue is causing the airway obstruction? What'd you say? Snoring. Snoring, because when that tongue is flopped back, when air is, is trying to escape, it's gonna flop, and that makes that snoring sound. That, that's just the, the, the tongue hitting the back of your mouth when you're, when you're breathing. That's all it is. That's all it is. What, what's gonna help? What'll help out that patient, though? Do you guys know? What? And after sleep apnea. Besides that, no, just you, you. You came in here, and all you have is your, your body and your knowledge. What, what's gonna help that patient out right now? Think about think about CPR. What do we what do we do with CPR before we give a breath? Oh, the fearless or technically responsive. Nothing. 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 Your, your clothes. Head. What? Head, tilt, head, tilt, chin, lift. That oh. verbiage is exactly how the way you have to remember it. Because if you take your EMT exam or your CPR BLS exam, that's the verbiage you're gonna use. Head, tilt, chin, lift, and it's to open the airway when the tongue is a problem. Right here, tongue goes up. All right, um, see, Foggy, what is, what is behind the big tongue? Epiglottis. Epiglottis, good. And do you know what the job of the epiglottis is? When you're eating or swallowing, it Garbage. closes, like the little, um, it sits right on top of your windpipe. Okay. So it closes that whenever you're eating, so the food doesn't go down to your air pipe and you don't breathe it in. Good job, good. Let me go find the mark. But that, that's exactly what the epiglottis is. Um, uh, man, 
Budget cuts. Give me one second, guys. One second. So what is the name? Somebody else besides what's up? What happened if Lucy gets in the water? What happened? Like what happened if Lucy gets in the water? You, you choke. choke. You choke. And if, if, it, if it doesn't get resolved, you die. That's when the honey came. Exactly. Yeah. And we'll go. We're gonna touch all that when you guys come back from from your break. We're going. We're going straight into CPR, and we're gonna cover that at the very end of CPR. Yeah. Yeah, we're going right back into it with the big mannequins, all right? Dummies are my favorite part. This is, this is good stuff. All right, so the windpipe. Um, let me see. Uh, Nico, what is um, what is, what do we call the windpipe in the medical field? Uh, I remember what you said too. So go to You know? I'm just trying to say it. And I'll help you out. What does it start with? Hold up. I know you got it. Trachea. Say trachea. There you go. Now you know how to say it. Trachea. The trachea is a blue pipe. Trachea, right? And then right behind it, we got the big old esophagus. And this is what this is what Foggy was talking about. So what's gonna this is your esophagus. Check out my spelling. Esophagus, because you know it's horrible. So what Flaggy was saying, this, when you have some food, there's gonna be a mush of the food. When you swallow, this epiglottis is gonna go down, cover the trachea, and the food will just slide right into the esophagus so you can eat it and go into your stomach. Okay? Okay. Um and we said this is the epiglottis. Okay, um, what is this portion called? Uh, Mike, I'm, I'm gonna go with you. What is this portion called where we have the epiglottis for the trachea and the esophagus start? Right here where the Adam's apple's at. What do we call this part? There's two names, what was one of them? Okay. Where you at? Where? What's in What's in the new one say? There's one of these two. What do you say that? Hypopharynx. What's the other name for the hypopharynx? The Say it? Lorango Furnace. Lorango Furnace. Okay. So this region has two names. Hypopharynx. And Lorango Furnace. Cool. Same name. It's like John is Juan. Thomas is Tomas. David is David. Same name, just don't think about it too much, okay? Okay, cool. So now this is your upper airway, right? So, uh, upper airway, which consists of the nasal pharynx, we talked about it. That's, that's behind the nose, we have the oral pharynx. And then we have the hypo, AKA, Lorengo. Pharynx. And if anybody just says pharynx, pharynx, or pharynx, they're talking about the entire upper airway, okay? 
give you guys time to catch up, take your note, and then we'll go into the lower airway. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, we're gonna merge the circulatory system, the blood system, with the airway system, and it's gonna make sense for you guys. If it doesn't make sense today, it's gonna make sense when you guys come back or when I post it. Okay, I'm gonna edit the video, take out, take out the little parts where I'm talking to you guys, like going up to you guys. So it might be like two or three videos, um, but all the important stuff will be in there, okay? I'll give you guys a little time, take your note, go ahead. And then also, anything that's on there, I'm gonna download it before I leave today, and I'm gonna post it on Google Classroom so you guys can review anything that's on there um, that, I, that's, uh, that I did on there. It's all saying, you know, TV or whatever. I'll give you guys a little more time. So what did I leave off at? What was it, right? That's the script that I asked question and ask question. All right, so uh, David, super easy question. Where does the lower airway start? The answer's already up here. Oh, um, uh, No, esophagus is not part of the airway, it's part of the digestive system. Oh, uh, trachea. Say trachea? Trachea. Okay, trachea. So now, so we're starting back in the trachea. And so you trachea? And then, um, and you, what's it? <laughs> Angelina. Angelina. Uh, what's after the trachea? It splits off into two. What are they called? Bronchi. Bronchi. Good. Good, good. We got the trachea. We talked about this. Then we have the bronchi. Okay, so your trachea pretty much, so this part right here, this is where your trachea actually starts, where this point is at. The trachea goes from here to about right here, and from right here, it splits into each individual lung, and that's the bronchi, okay? And then from the bronchi, Kristen, what is next? What is the next section of the lower airway? If the tube gets smaller, the name gets longer. Bronchioles, good job. The bronchioles are next. Okay, so now we have bronchioles. And the general rule for any tube, I don't care if air goes through it or blood goes through it, if the tube gets smaller in size, the name just gets longer. And this applies to vessels too. And you'll see it when I combine it and I talk about the actual vessels, you'll see what I'm talking about more. Bronchioles. Bronchioles. And then foggy, I think you're next. What is the last part of the airway? This is where the airway stops. Alveoli. alveoli. And what's so important about the alveoli, foggy? It's basically your whole airway system. And wh what happens there? That's where like um, the gas is passing. Perfect, gas is changed. That's what yeah, I was looking for, gas. Is this is where the oxygen you bring in goes into the blood and the CO2 goes into your airway. Mm -hmm. And today we're gonna to talk about where, the, where that CO2 comes from because we've been talking about it but we don't know where it comes from yet. So today we're gonna to clarify that. That way it makes more sense too, okay? All right, so have the OI. And what I'm gonna just draw a big old the OI. Might make it a little bit easier for, my, for you guys to see everything. So, just exaggerate, I mean, they're all exaggerated. They're like microscopic little sets. So, okay. And then who can remember what is the main muscle that helps bring that air in, suck the air into the system? Because the system doesn't just bring air by itself. This, this system is just there for air to come into, okay? It's like a cup. The cup is the cup. The cup doesn't pour it for, doesn't pour it the drink for you. Something else has to pour it in there, right? The cup is just the cup. This is just the container for the air to go to. What brings it in? The diaphragm. 
Good diaphragm. Good job. Here you go diaphragm in the bottom. Okay, now I'll leave that there. So just diaphragm. Cool. So now we can go into the circulatory system. Now we're going to combine both systems. Okay? So I'll give you guys time to catch up, and then we'll go into the next system. Give you guys a few minutes, so I'm going to stop this so I can...